Welcome to Golden Truth Tarot, my golden friends. Before I start today's video, I want to remind you that on my website, you can find jewelry made with the highest quality crystals and gemstones that I sourced personally from the prestigious Tucson Gem Show that was held in Arizona this past January. If you're interested in anything go on my website i have different types of bracelets everything is handmade by me you can also find different types of rings you can find necklaces earrings anything you might like also if you want to book a private reading with me you can book through my website the link is below this video on www.goldentruthtarot.com and some of the jewelry, you can find them on my Etsy store as well. Just type Golden Truth Tarot. Thank you so much for staying with me through this message. And now let's move on to the video. Hi, Tauruses. Welcome to your June reading. Now let's get started with the first week of June. This first week is going to be a stressful one. I see a lot going on. You have so many different thoughts you're worried, you're anxious and stressed over something happening in your life. And this can be something different for different Tauruses. For some of you, it's a situation at work where you feel like your back is against the wall and you want to make a decision, but you don't know what decision is the right one. So you kind of decided to isolate yourself and think of your different options and the different things that you can do. For others, it involves a relationship where you're feeling alone, you're feeling like you're not appreciated enough, like you're not getting enough love, and the other person is not really taking accountability for their actions and kind of blaming things on you. So you need that time to reflect and see where you stand or what you want to do in the future. If you want to continue to stay in this relationship, if you want to, uh, if you want to make some changes, th th this is a time where even though you you might feel like it's a lot, you need you need to reflect. You need this time with yourself in order to prepare yourself for the next steps to come. And for others, it can also be a past relationship when you're currently feeling lonely. You're feeling like you ha you might have thought that the grass is greener. But now that you have been alone or maybe dating, you have realized that what you had in that past relationship with, with uh, this particular ex was something that was very special. And at the time, you might have not been able to see it. But now that you have maybe had other dates or met different people, now you realize, okay, that was a special relationship. That was someone who was truly um, unique. And there is a desire also to uh, maybe give them another chance or see if that relationship can uh, can still uh, work. But... Um, but you don't know where to start. You don't know how to reach out to them or how to move towards towards them. Uh, this is going to, this energy, this cloudiness, this just feeling sad and just having a lot on your mind is going to change. It's not something that is going to uh, continue or you're going to feel like that for the whole ma month. Absolutely not. By the second week already with the Empress card, I see that you will focus on yourself. You think, okay, what can I do to get out of this fogginess out of this uh, sadness and just do something for my for, for myself uh, so I see a time of you relaxing I see a time of you potentially either spending time in nature or pampering yourself doing things that you love that you make you feel good about yourself going to a spa or shopping or doing any any treatments for yourself, uh, beauty treatments, anything that gives you that allows you to relax, allows you to enjoy life without overthinking things. It, it, from what I'm feeling from the cards, it's like you're going to let allow things to just happen. If it's meant to be, is going to be. If it's not 
then you still have to move on with with your life and that's the energy of the second week a week of just you taking your time to enjoy yourself relax enjoy your life and realize how much you have to offer how much you have to offer at work how much you have to offer in the relationship and if someone doesn't see it or doesn't appreciate you for it then then it's their is their loss it's not yours that's the mentality and the energy you're going to have in the second week and in the third week the judgment is showing me a time of you still not being able to completely forgive someone or completely release someone you feel like either you have been judged wrongly judged by others or you are judging someone um, maybe too harsh and you're not allowing this person to you're not allowing this person to come back into your life to have a second chance you just you still can't completely release what has happened in the past and this applies also to the people that you're thinking about getting this person back but and I see you changing your mind and by the third week you're thinking yeah but we broke up for this and this reason and now still maybe they're not going to be able to um, then maybe they're going to judge me for what my life has been since we broke up or maybe I, you're going to judge them so it, it's just or something that you will see maybe you will research this person online or see what they have been up to and once you see what their life is you're going to judge that and you're going to be like no no this is not this is not the person i was right to have moved on from that and and yeah and you're going to make that decision this is this is something that uh, has to be left in the past and the will of fortune is showing the showing me this indication of you just moving forward with yourself moving forward with with um with your life with the things that you want for yourself and, I, and I, as i said you're having this this energy of if it meant to happen it will if it's meant to to be it will be from the oracle of love the messages make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and this is an indication that you're also judging the other person as i said harshly and they're judging you too so at times if you want a relationship to continue and flourish then the effort has to come from both from both people a great love goes through trials and, and tribulations and sometimes those tribulations and those trials make you bond with one another even more so if you're feeling guided if you're feeling in your heart if your intuition is telling you that you have to give this person another chance don't focus so much on what what they have been doing while they haven't been with you don't focus so much on um what other people are advising you or suggesting just focus on what your intuition is telling you that's also an indication if you can't stop thinking about someone you're constantly thinking how your life would have been with them and they're always in your mind even if you haven't been together in a while or um, that can also be an indication that there's there was something that was left there that was unfinished okay so great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take make the effort it's always best to make the effort and see where that effort takes you so to take the chance reach out to them talk to them see see if they're feeling the same way about you then to not take that chance at all uh, to not take that chance at all and to just go through your life wondering what would it be what would it have been if if i had reached out to this person if we had a second chance if we had if we tried again to just having that regret um carrying that regret with you it's it's more stressful than uh, releasing that from yourself than trying and you might feel if things don't work out you might feel that your um, your pride might 
might have uh, might feel wounded a bit but at the end you you can feel comfortable knowing that at least you tried at least you uh, you put in that effort and I see that this is something karmic for a lot of you when it comes to love and relationships this is um, a karmic relationship so basically someone that was important for you someone who you had was in a way is connected you the two of you your paths are connected and unless this chapter completely closes between the two of you it's hard for you to um meet someone new or start something completely start a new relationship even though you're trying you're trying the wheel of fortune is telling me that you're constantly moving forward uh, you're focusing on yourself you're focusing on your plans you're focusing on all the things that you want to for yourself and the wheel of fortune is also an indication of new doors new opportunities coming for you um things changing for you but there's still something that needs there's still a chapter here that needs to close with this person it's not maybe just a conversation between the two of you would give you that closure that that you need or they need um something needs to happen something needs to happen in order for you to release this from from yourself and to be able to move forward though the last week is going to be uh, a great week for you a week of new opportunities new options new options that you will not be able to see in the first week of june you will feel as i said just blocked and everything is cloudy and dark and where's the solution that solution, that answer that you're asking for, that you're waiting for in the first week is going to come. But the, by the end of the month, you will feel much more confident. You see, okay, well, I don't have to... I don't have to continue being trapped or being with my back against the wall in this situation because I have other options. I can do this, this, and that. And that is going to help you a lot with your self-esteem, just feeling confident, feeling like, okay, there is more to come. And this is not the the, the, the end of, of it all. Um, yeah, when it comes to work, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to opportunities and options and ways to make money, that's what I'm feeling with the last week. You will maybe talk to different people or new opportunities knocking on your door that you didn't even see, you didn't even see it coming. Uh, so it's a great time to be active, a great time to socialize, a great time to really put yourself out there. And if something new happens, just go for it. Go for it. Learn about it uh, and uh, try to take advantage of all the opportunities that are coming for you in the last week of June. Okay, Tauruses, this is everything that I see for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please follow and share with other friends and family members thank you again for watching and i see you next time bye bye